The Labour Party has lamented the growing insecurity in the southeastern region, particularly the recent killings in Imo State, which resulted in the death of some security operatives. The Southeast chapter of the Labour Party in a statement over the weekend said the general state of insecurity in the area and particularly the recent killing in Umo Alumako in Hime Mbano local government area of Imo State is unnecessary and unjustified. It will be recalled that some unknown government killed not less than eight security agents in the state last week. The security agents comprised of soldiers, policemen and the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps. Reacting, the Labour Party in a statement in Enugu by its National Vice Chairman Chief Innocent Okeke lamented the killings of the security agents. According to him, these officers had families who depended on them for daily survival and it is unjust that they had to answer for national cause with their lives. Chief Innocent Okeke further stated that there were many more incidents involving the killing of security operatives in the area but most were unreported and not investigated. He lamented that no significant measures are being put in place to foretell further occurrence which has made the region further descend into a state of lawlessness and total anarchy where individuals were uncertain about their safety and residents live in fear of death. The state of Imo has been tragically reduced to a graveyard where the populace no longer fears the sight of blood and death as it flows and litter the street daily. The sounds of firearms of varying calibres have engulfed the state, causing tension that pose serious health concerns to both the adolescent and the elderly, the Labour Party spokesman concluded. Meanwhile, the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB have stated that President Bola Ahmed Tinubu led federal government knows those responsible for the killings of security operatives in Imo State. According to information from our reliable source, eight police and some military personnel were gunned down in cold blood at Umualamoko community in Ehime Mbano local government area of Imo State on Tuesday last week. IPOB said that the government shouldn't fend ignorance about the attack because they are working with the perpetrators in order to blackmail the group and its detained leader Namdi Kano. In a statement on Thursday issued by a spokesman, Emma Powerful, the pro Biafra agitation group said it was not behind the bloody attack, adding that such shedding of blood was not needed in the southeast region to achieve freedom. According to his words, we, the global family and movement of the IPOB, ably led by our leader Mazin Namdekano, condemn the bloody attack that leads to the death of eight police officers and some military officers at Ihime Mbano, local government area of Imo State. Such reckless attacks and shedding of blood are not needed to achieve Biafra freedom in our territory. The Biafra agitation championed by IPOB since 2012 had been totally peaceful until the federal government of Nigeria started sponsoring splinter groups in order to blackmail IPOB and Namdekano. Today, the monsters they have spoon-fed are consuming them. We in IPOB for years have been shouting about the evil plan of the federal government of Nigeria towards IPOB's peaceful agitation which is simply demanding a referendum date for the Biafran people to determine their own fate as indigenous people. The federal government of Nigeria knows those behind this latest attack on the security personnel. They shouldn't feign ignorance or claim to be surprised 
because they are working with the perpetrators of that unnecessary attack in order to blackmail IPOB and its leader, Mazin Namdekano. A more powerful further stated that security agencies know exactly what to do and where to focus their attention if indeed they were interested in fishing out the killers of their colleagues. The IPOB spokesman therefore cautioned the police to go after the criminals who murdered their colleagues and not after innocent villagers in Ihima community. He also claimed that the DSS and other security agencies are devising a strategy to blackmail IPOB and implicate Namdekano for the violence and terrorism charges leveled against him. The statement added, No villagers will attack policemen within their village. Therefore, the Ihime Mbano community should not be invaded as a result of the killing of the security officers. The DSS and all the security machinery are putting their heads together to devise a strategy to blackmail IPOB and implicate Mazin Namdekano for the violence and terrorism charges they have leveled against him. They should not deceive the public by blaming anybody when they are aware of the assailants. Sacrificing some Nigerian police and military officers' lives to achieve blackmail against IPOB has been their old strategy and dirty game. We therefore ask the Nigerian police to go after the criminals who murdered their colleagues and not after innocent villagers. More often than not, Nigerian security agencies carry out revenge on ordinary citizens anytime armed criminals attack them. Nigerian security forces must know that the villagers are innocent. IPOB doesn't encourage people to murder or waste innocent people's lives because lives are sacred and must be preserved and protected. We encourage Nigerian security to use their intelligence prowess to fish out the perpetrators and not blame the IPOB for such attacks. The statement concluded.